Check mic. All right. Yeah. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> My camera is off. Sorry about that. Let me just uh, yon. <laughs> Alright, good evening ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of the Daily Grind. Magandang um, Tuesday night sa inyo. Uh, it was a good day for the market. Uh, medyo may pulahan tayo with the market today. Pero net foreign buy- buying is big. So yeah, sobrang ganda ng takbo ng market. And that's good to know that's mar- the market's doing like uh, doing that. It's just that hindi mag-sustain talaga. Yung, ano, hindi, kaya, hindi kaya mag-sustain ng market because... Not enough buyers, right? Uh, at this point of the market, medyo tapish na yung mga stocks. Medyo uh, nagtitipid na yung mga tao because things are kind of expensive. So, ayan po, negative 0.69% tayo, negative 47%, I mean, points. But net foreign buying, 3.6 billion. Look at that volume right there. That's a very good spike. Even if there was big volume for the market, nagka-sell off lang talaga. Why? Because we are... We're, we expected that, right? Uh, it climbed a bit, then it got sell off uh, after that. Yeah, uh, that's the market for you. I guess. I guess. Um, in sinasabi sabi natin, market is looking like it's gonna go sideways. Um, with the sell off today, baka mag downtrend the market ng konte. Um, downtrend for the short term until na marich naman yung supports, left support levels. Uh, we're expecting that for the market right now. Congratulations. Okay, mga may hawak kay Tech. We did dub Tech as a buy already. Uh, ilang araw to nagsasabi na okay na ba si Tech? We saw so many signs for Tech to buy. And congratulations sa may mga Tech. CIP ang pinakamalaking winner ngayon, but I don't trade this stock def- def- definitely. So yeah, MJC also ito si Tech W naman ang umakyat, right? So uh, massive win for Tech W PA IPO si Tech talaga ang pinakamagandang takbo ngayon. Monday did still go up but it's way up there already. Uh, kahit na may volume yan, I'm not, it's not my kind of trade. But then again, it is a win for those na andun kay uh, Monday. Right? Del Monte even went up. Globe went up still. So, congratulations sa mga may Globe uh, bumili kay Globe dati. Diba? Galing. MY did go up um 1.90% hopefully pinasok niyo na si MY noon pa I've been recommending MY for how many how many times I've attempted to break out earlier so baka uh, magpatuloy-tuloy next week this week so hopefully nakapasok na kayo so update tayo sa market um nga pala may parang bad news kay ito no? James Deacon um kind of a uh, well known person here uh, sa sa Pilipinas Ranted about Itoro's withdrawal system. May mga malas na talaga. Um, ang nangyayari kasi sa kanila, um, they used the uh, account ng anak niya, right? It's in the name of his son. And then, credit card niya ang ginamit. So, when they when they deposited funds, tumuloy-tuloy ka agad. Diba? Ganun yung nangyayari sa akin before. Tumuloy-tuloy. And then once um, na ngayon nag-withdraw sila na, na detect na ni Itoro na may problema hindi magkatugma yung pangalan uh, ng account sa kanong credit card holder so naka-hold yung withdrawal process nila right so that's a problem right there medyo uh, nagre-rant siya ngayon about this one but just make sure if ever you create an Itoro account at your bank account na ginagamit niyo should be using the same you, know, you should be using the same name right uh, sa account holder para hindi kayo magka problema in the future then again punta tayo sa comments muna kamusta kamusta right kamusta tayo dyan mm. right. just wanna make sure can play this right now why won't it play one moment let me just make sure our music plays ayoko kasi na walang background music yon. Alright, so let me go to the comments. Asan yun? Yun. Na share nyo na ba? <laughs> if you need pa, please do share this video. Paki share po ito sa mga friends nyo, relatives, your Facebook walls, 
and yeah, trading groups niyo, right? The goal for daily grind is really gra- to guide uh, newbies sa stock market uh, para tama yung simulan nila, di ba? Marami kasi yung mga pumapasok sa stock market. Ang ending eh tumitigil ka agad because they lose money, uh, they realize na mahirap pala and then they don't continue. Right? So, that's the reason why Daily Grind is here to guide those Filip- Filipinos na mga nagmagsisimula para sa- sakto, tama yung gawin nila sa so, stock market and hopefully they continue and we can invite more people to get in kasi mas maraming magsasabi na maganda na yung stock market ngayon and that will trickle down to everyone. That will trickle down to the market sa mga investors tayo sa atin. So please share this to your trading groups or sino man sa, sa inyo dyan na alam na may mga newbies uh, when it comes to trading. Share this video to them, please. Thank you. Alright. Rowena Villa, maing gabi. Ishi Marimat. Alright. Naunahan ka ni Rowena ngayon, Ishi. Benedict, maing gabi. Uh, Earl John Ginto. Good evening, Sir Lloyd. Present po. <laughs> Nag-roll call tayo, di ba? Alfredo Kiso, magandang gabi rin, Raymond. Marquez, good evening to you G-Boy Tads, good evening. Jose Lumba, good morning, sir. Lloyd, pa-check naman po news about attack something po. Uh, about attack something po. Isa po kasi ang PHA. What's that about, Jose Lumba? Can you share the link? Uh, ano yan? I'm not really sure about what that news is. Jocelyn Rocco, uy, uh, good evening. Uh, Giancarlo, G- Giancarlo, yes. Ross Lloyd, how about Jimmy7? Let's check out Jimmy7. Charting tayo ngayon. Update lang naman tayo sa market. Um, PSCI, uh, red today. Pero, net foreign buying po tayo, 3.6 billion. Pero, yun yung sinasabi natin because the market is already sideways. Hindi ka anong, uh, walang ka anong momentum sa market. Even if malaking pera pumasok sa atin ngayon, 3.6 billion net foreign, uh, net foreign buying. It cannot sustain the market and nag-drop pa rin sa market because take profits. Um, konti lang ang investors na sa market. Marami, chupitero. Then these people will take uh, take profits. And when is the best time to take profits? When the market is topish. So the take profit is even larger than the buying. Kahit na ang laki na net foreign buying ngayon. So hindi nag-sustain talaga market. And that's why we see this candlestick right here with the 3.6 billion. Right. So to be expected, the market should uh, drop anytime soon since we are already topish. I could be wrong. But hopefully, I'm wrong. <laughs> Di ba? Pero through uh, with our experience, especially uh, tapos ng ghost month, and especially na may election na naman, market tends to be slow during election. Uh, may pandemic pa nga eh, di ba? So many factors to for us to say na uh, it's not really an, a healthy market just yet, di ba? But that's, that, don't worry about it, alright? That, I, we always take this as an opportunity. I've been teaching you this before as a position trader. If something drops or if the market drops, it is an opportunity for us always, di ba? So, hopefully, may ganun na mindset na kayo, right? Jimmy7, ang request ni Jose Lumba. Um, de, from, sorry, Giancarlo pala. Kakain ko lang kasi. Yeah, medyo puno pa yung chan ko. Naparami, inum ko ng tubig. <laughs> Jimmy7, uh, I've, I've told you this before. It is already topish. Nag-double tops na tayo. So, it is on a downtrend. Lower, low, lower highs. It's still, uh, it should still drop. So, it's not a buy zone. Uh, possible natin, pwede bilhin. Baka mag-support si Jimmy7 dito. So, abangan lang natin. Huwag muna natin pangunahan ng market. Let it drop lang muna. Um, right now. Okay. Sorry. Meron ako na ano na pinfall na naman sa mukha ko. Sakit. <laughs> Josephine, ano ah, basta natin to. Rosario Rosal, good evening. John Oliver Mongis, magandang gabi. Hi, sir. Raymond Marquez. Um, buy na po ba si PNB? Let's check out PNB. Alright. Philippine National Bank. Is it a buy? Technical analysis speaking, it should be a buy. Let me just load my chart day at tignan ko yung RSI guys ha. Um, I use RSI kasi together with my position trades uh, to know if pwede na ba siya bilhin. It's not loading. I don't know why. There you go. Bagal ha. Alright, PNB. Yeah? Um, major support is at how much is this? 19.81 That's the major support Pero hindi naman natin pwede sabihin na Bababa talaga yan dyan daan. Talaga yan dyan ah, Sabihin ko lang sa inyo is If you see a green bar right here That will be your buy signal That will be the buy for PNB Sobrang ganda na to Actually pwede yung bodegahin ng PNB 
Sobrang ganda ng presyo niya. Pandemic levels tayo. Um, buy some right now. If it goes down, even, I will buy this even more. Pwedeng ganun po ang strategy, right, for PNB. Maganda naman takbo ni PNB. Medyo natakot lang siguro ang mga investors because of what, ha- what happened with PAL. Um, nag-announce ng bankruptcy. So, yeah. Malaki yung utang ni PAL kay PNB kasi. Alvin Castillo, good evening po. Pasilip si Double Dragon and Green. Thanks. Let's check it out. Double Dragon. Alright. Ito si Double Dragon. Si DDMPR umakit kanina. Double Dragon is a buy for me, I would say. Massive support right there for DD. Um, RSI, look at that. Buying is starting to uh, gain momentum. Right? Momentum is right there for DD. Massive na po yung tawag nito. Divergence niya. It is already showing bullish levels. I would say buy this one and then buy some more if ever it drops even more. Pero I would say okay na to. Right? DD. Ganda na position ng Double Dragon. Green naman. Green Energy. Let's check out Green Energy. Alright. Green Energy. Um, ang pinapakita niya ngayon is lower low and lower high. There is no signals for RSI. So baka downtrend pa ito. Uh, it is gonna be very challenging but major support is at this level. Baka bumaba to the major support. Pwede, ang pwede nyo gawin dito is pwede nyo nang bodegahin to. We can't really say if ever bababa to o baka umarangkada. So what you can, the best thing you can do is buy some right now and if, it, if ever it further goes down to the support level, you buy some more. Then dito natin simulan ng trade natin talaga. Cut loss below that level. Yun yung strategy na ma-recommend ko for this one right here. Uh, Ronnie Morillo, good evening Sir Lloyd. Um, pacheck naman po si Ani, APL, and now. Si Ani, mukhang downtrend pa to eh. Right? It's still all, overall on a downtrend. Nag-establish siya right now, but uh, I don't wanna trade this because of this early second quarter. Post-pandemic na tayo ha. Tapos negative 74 pa siya. Meaning mas maliit yung kita niya kaysa sa last year na pandemic. That's not a good sign for Ani. So medyo tapat na kalis na kayo kay Ani when that bad earning uh, report happened. Never hold a, never hold a stock um, na pangit ang performance. You never know they, when they can recover. Right? APL, Apollo, Global, Incorporated. Okay lang sana yun kung pandemic tapos naging negative sila. Understandable. If tapos yung pandemic tapos ganun pa rin performance nila. That's not good. APL, uh, we dub this as a buy so, sa susunod na green. Uh, napakaganda ng support. Divergence all the way for APL. Uh, susunod na green that will be your buy and then you you know where your support is just got lost below that that's for APL si Nao naman eto maganda rin support ni Nao right. Nao Corporation right. so Nao Corporation pataas naman yung RSI niya meaning this support is starting to look better and better so if you wanna trade this one I would say this is a good trade right? Um, short term trade just buy if this really goes green and then just take profits whenever you are happy right I, I would say this is a buy pero wag niyo po yung hold ito there will be stocks that I will tell you na pwedeng i-hold or just buy some more if ever it goes further down but not this stock I don't like now fundamentally so medyo tagilid maganda naman yung target niya maganda yung vision of the company it's just that I favor dito more I favor even Globe more than this one. Or even Converge. Mas maganda si Converge kaysa dito. So, if ever you go, wanna go Telco, I'd either Converge or dito. Ang pasukin ninyo. Rowena Villa Del Monte po, Sir Lloyd. Del Monte had a good um, climb earlier. Let's check it out. Uh, Nancy Catillo, si Tech. Buy na kanina. Ka- kahapon pa natin sinabi yun. Buy na. Medyo nakalipad na si Tech. Eh. So, 5.08% for today. Next pullback na lang. Like this one, Del Monte pullback. Uh, we talked about this resistance. That's the buy right there for Del Monte. Medyo nakalipad na. Let it pull back and then let it bounce before you wanna get in for Del Monte. Uh, that's for Rowena. Uh, Giancarlo, may gabi i Lawrence Alfen- uh, Alfante. Sorry. Uh, good evening. Jelerios, wag ka nang gabi rin. O sa Lumba, let's check this news out together. Freeman, the Freeman. Ano, ano yun? News update, Japanese Embassy in Manila confirmed on Tuesday that it has received information of a possible terror attack in some Southeast Asian countries including the Philippines. 
However, the embassy declined to provide further information which issued a warning to alert Japanese people residing in some Southeast Asian countries, but we cannot disclose the source of the embassy. Meanwhile, the Department of DFA said it's not been officially informed about the matter. Travel alerts of country citizens are usually not officially notified. Or blah, 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 blah. Okay, so there is a... Um, there is a... According to Japanese embassy... Possible terror attack. Uh, that's sad. If ever that happens, I so ingat lang po muna tayo. Not during really this pandemic. Ano ba naman tong mga terrorist na to? Wala ba silang puso? <laughs> Alright, so anyways. That's a terrorist for you. Uh, so. Hey, um, there's always a threat for terrorist attack. Mer- meron na sila intelligence na there is a possibility na magkaka-attack. So, at the very least, na-intercept yon. Maybe our country can um, can work with Jap- Japan for about that information and then intercept the, the danger. So, pwede naman yun. So, for now, wala pa naman nangyayari. It's just a warning. So, that's still okay. Thanks so much, Lumba, for the news. Gracie, Gracie, Mel- thank you for tagging your friend, Lan and Seb po. This is from Rosario Rosal. Let's check out Lan. Right. So, oh. Si Land. Trigger the lower Bollinger Band. Tingnan lang natin muna sa support. Uh, the support is at 1.16. Tingnan natin anong gagawin niya sa support. For now, it's not a buy. Seb naman, Cebu Pacific is is at support. Yun eh, di ba? As far as I remember, it is at support right now. It hit the support. Bounce right there. 10.58 million net foreign selling. All right. Uh, it is at a good support pero tagilid ah baka baka mag drop ha? there is divergence on that support it is much healthier compared to this one right here so that could be something pero right now again top is market baka mahi, ma, matamaan to so don't, you don't have to go aggressive right now it's touching the lower Bollinger Band if ever you've uh, watched my video about Bollinger Bands those triggers we know where this is going and it should drop so stay away from it lang muna uh, for Cebu Pacific asa na tayo hello po this is from Helen Grace alright Helen Grace PH good evening Helen uh, Leonino Texon good evening Sir Lloyd pasilip naman po si Aba. let's check out Aba. And ABBA, mukhang downtrend na, mukhang tapos na yung short climb ni ABBA. For now, mm, I cannot say for sure what the trend is. There is a short-term support right here. Maybe you could use that for trading. I mean, yeah. But for now, it's not it's not giving me the buy signals that I'm looking for. So I will stay away from ABBA lang muna. Good PM po sa lahat, Sir Lloyd. At uh, this is Marlo Rubio. Gigi Meares, good evening. Kamusta, Gigi? Um, Mike Eugenio, good evening. Asen po from Ma'am Arm Amy, Amy, right? Sorry, Amy, right? Asen, let's check out Asen. Asen, <laughs> actually, nag old time I say Asen, which tells me that it's not part of my trading plan anymore. Uh, I will stay away from this already. It's already playing inside the Bollinger Bands. Medyo no buy zone tayo. Stay away from it. It's way up high up there, right? It's expensive right now. Uh, maybe you will say na baka umakyat pa kasi for long term sir Lloyd. Eh. Yes, baka umakyat, but you're buying it at the most expensive level for now. In the future kahit na umarang kada yan, I'll give you the right mindset ha. Kahit pa umarang kada yan, wala pong forever na uptrend. It will dip in the future by the dips. It's a much healthier way to trade or to invest. Right? Don't buy these ones. Buy this dips, this dips right here. If ever you really wanna get in uh, for the long term, right? Hindi yung pasukin yung ayon kasi may alam na iwan ako nito. Pinano ko to noon. That's that's not the right way ta- right to trade, right? Um, your mind is playing tricks with you. Bakit di tayo pumasok dito kung gusto man natin mag long term palatalaga? Diba? So no, Asian is a no buy. Just there, Sir Lloyd. Monday po, sir. Wait po ba? Nag-get profit na po. Same with LHC. Thank you. Alright, congratulations, man. Um, at least, take profits na yung pinag-uusapan natin ngayon. Uh, it did break out right here. Um, si Monday. 
mukhang okay pa eh. 19 million yung net, bar, net foreign buying nila. Um, have you watched my video about Bollinger Bands? Uh, I think nasabi ko doon, where do I take profits whenever it's uh, playing above Bollinger Bands? If the price is close inside Bollinger Bands, that is your sell signal. Because that's weakness already. Kasi ito, momentum pa to, there's a high chance that it will still go up. Once it uh, once it closes inside the Bollinger Band, that's gonna be your sell signal. That's your take profit levels for one day. Congratulations, man. Um, LHC. Uh, LHC, same. Uh, no buy zone. Bearish signals right there. Stay away from it. Um, take profits na ba? Ay, yes, that's a take profit level for me. I would have taken profits already. Uh, I will buy, I will sell some. Uh, uh, sell maybe half or even more, 60%. And then the other remaining, I will use my MA20 as my support. If it's, it breaks MA20 already, that's where I'm gonna be selling on. If ever nakuha nyo to sa mga magandang levels. Right? Um, as for LHC, congratulations one again, once again, Jelerios. Uh, Sec B for Viola and AC. Let's check out Sec B. Magandang gabi sa mga nanonood sa atin through uh, YouTube. I'm not sure. Bakit walang lumalabas na comments in YouTube? Must be my mistake. I'll just refresh YouTube really quick. Um, Sec B. Sec B is... Actually, pwede na itong bodegahin. Ang ganda na ng level ng Sec B. Napakita niya. Um, this is the best entry point for Sec B. Pula naman siya ngayon. Let's see if you can enter at that line right there. But overall, napakaganda pa rin ng level. Uh, I would buy some right there and then buy some more right here. And then this will be my major support. Cut loss ako dito sa baba. That will be my stats if I trade sec B. Ayala Corporation. Jelerios, thank you Sir Lloyd for the advice and insight. You're welcome man. Happy to help. AC, we are at resistance levels already for AC. Uh, we talked about AC during the supports right here. Divergence, sobrang ganda. Look at that divergence right there. That, that was a buy for AC already. Ngayon, medyo nakaangat na. We're reaching topish levels, so no buy for me uh, already for AC. Um, take profits na yun. May gabi, J, uh, Javon, Clint, Berdeen, H. Bart, Sir Lloyd. Good evening po. This is from Heras, Sai, Simon, Simon. I'm not really sure how to pronounce the name, man. Sorry. It's H. Bar Crypto. Crypto. Hedera Hashgraph. Hirap ang pangalan na. Oh, HR. Galing. I'm not really sure what this crypto is for. It's way up there. It's not a buy. RSI levels are already way up there. Um, best entry levels are gonna be MA20s. You can use your Fibonacci right here, man. Uh, let it pull back. Buy the dips lang po. Always buy the dips lang before you wanna get in. Not, wag nyo, wag kayo magkahabol sa taas. Right? German na manansala. Right. Good evening, sir. Let's check naman po dito. Thanks po. Let's check out dito. Si dito for me is kind of a uh, way up there at this point. So I cannot recommend dito. And that's the reason why. <laughs> Bumagsak ngayon ng 4.82% si dito. So congratulations sa mga nag-take profits dito. Congratulations sa mga pumasok when I told you to get in. Right now, it's breaking MA20. So ayun yung sinasabi ko. Walang forever. And that's the reason why I told you guys that I'm not a fan of the position of Dito already because it is it might drop already and there it is nag drop na because the market's not that strong right uh, you have to consider the market always in your trading also so it's dropping right now we'll wait lang muna if ever in the future there will be a buy signal I will tell you if ever buy na yan but for now wala pa Edward Garcia good evening po Dito uh, we covered that Nickel Pusser good empty na basha. this is from Javon Berdin Berdin, Berdin. Nickel. Um, nope, it's not a good buy. We are still at resistance levels. Pag dito, that's a good buy right there. For now, wag lang muna for, ano, for, for nickel. Tignan lang muna natin ano mangyayari. If ever it goes up, then it's, we'll start, still not buy it. Breakout na lang for that. If ever gusto niyo trade yan. Nancy Catillo, pa-check naman po si Tech, sir. Nancy, medyo... Napasok mo na ba to, si Tech? Uh, we already ca called Tech for a buy the pa past few days. We even called Tech for a buy right here because of the divergence. I'll uh, pull back and there it is. Confirmation pa ng support. That's already way up there. Uh, mas maganda kung mag-pull back pa kung hindi nyo pa napasok. But yeah, uh, we've been talking about Tech for how many days now and it has been a buy ever since. 
So hopefully napasok nyo na noon pa. Rick Rodrigo, hello sir, Abba Insights Input. We covered Abba already. Artsy, Gabs, good evening. Raymond Marquez, sir, how long uh, will it take po ba para ma-approve ang account sa Izanagi? Nag-deposit na kasi ako kagabi. Uh, wala pa kasi update from admin. Can you check out Raymond Marquez, Jaya? Within 24 to 48 hours. Alright, ipa-check, ipa-check kita sa admin na. Thank you so much for letting me know. Did you, uh, as long as you followed the, ano, as long as you followed the instructions, you should be good to go within the week. Rhea Narciso, any recommendation po what uh, to buy for short-term trading? Hirap eh. Um, let me, tell, tell me a stock, will I let you know if ever it's good. Kasi medyo nagliparan na yung mga sinasabi ko eh. Sila M-wide, medyo nakalipad na. Sila tech, we, we dub tech as a buy, medyo nakalipad na. Um, si Meg ba? Nakalipad na? Uh, yeah. Uh, somehow, nakalipad na rin si Meg. We called Meg dito pa lang uh, to buy Meg na dito. Um, for now, hindi kasi ako nakatingin for, at the market. Let me know if you find the stock. Listen to the stocks na mga rini-request ng iba. Huwag lang yung stock ninyo. Whenever I say buy, that doesn't mean na para sa kanya buy, uh, para, para sa kanya yung buy lang yun. It's also for you guys, right? Whenever I say buy, pwede nyo tignan yun. Like right now, let me know anong stock ang gusto nyo tignan natin if it's a buy already. Kasi I haven't been rec- uh, I haven't uh, been monitoring the market that much unlike before. So I'm not really sure anong stocks na magandang pasukin ngayon. Because yung mga nirecommend natin nagliparan na uh, si Ani lang yung pinaka mali natin eh, just because of the uh, just because of the earnings lumabas pangit yung earnings na lumabas ni Ani kaya nag-drop siya but that happens in trading but at the very least ang taas ng win rates natin ah. right Norvin Barrio sir check po si RCI thank you po let's check out RCI right RCI hmm Ang problema ko kay RCI is overall. Okay naman yung revenue pal niya pala for second quarter. First quarter, uh, annual niya kasi last year. At yun, negative 7.4, that's to be understood. First quarter, maganda naman. Doing well, right? Doing well, right? I would say, yes, this is a short-term trade. This is good. Pero, mind you ha, mabilis gumalaw to. So, dapat bantayan nyo, right? Sir RCI Norwin Barrios Nancy Catillo Sir Meg po Sir pwede po ba mag-add sa bodega Yan um, Si Meg isa yan sa mga sinabi natin na bodegahin nyo na um, kalipad na pwede bang dagdagan ang bodega I would say yes right um, Meg has been doing well as a company uh, even second quarter I mean uh, this uh, year's earning second quarter maganda naman yung takbo nila I would say yes Right? Pull back naman yan and bounce naman yan. Overall, bodagayin nyo pa to. Napakamura pa ni Meg overall. Uh, pandemic levels pa tayo kay Meg. Diba? So yeah, pwede pa to. Um, pwede nyo pa ang bodagayin to. Rosario Sal, you're welcome. Rick Rodrigo, maraming salamat po. Any thoughts for Emery Eat? Emery Eat is looking well. right? Uh, hopefully, makakuha pa kayo. But Emery Eat, isa sa magandang reads dyan right now. Malaki yung ano niya. Malaki yung market cap niya. But that's to be understood kasi ang daming ang daming properties ang nakapaloob ng M8. Um the more properties kasi the less the more diversified your money is in real estate. Uh magkasunog ang isang building since marami naman building nasa loob ng M8, the dividends are still intact. So, yeah, M8 is looking well. Hopefully you can get some. Um Rosario Sal, any thoughts on Marie? Donna, good evening sir. Right, check po si Ada. Um Cardano. Ada USD. Alright, so sumasabay lang kay crypto, kay Bitcoin with TCUS, uh, si Bitcoin kasi we're not, we're not really sure where it is going right now, it is going sideways pero yung mga bo- um, uh, sell points natin, uh, medyo pa baba right, so best level for ADA and Bitcoin, 43 that's gonna be your best buy point I'm not really saying that it might go up from there malaking chance, pero it can't go down pero these are the dips that you have to respect Ang strategy kasi sa mga ganito mga large cap coins is buy on the dips and then hold. Right? So that's for Cardano, XRP po, same with bit uh with, same with with ano. 
Uh, same with uh, Bitcoin. Abangan lang natin si Bitcoin kung mag-rally. Uh, you know where to catch this one? At the dips niya. That's the level right there. That's the best entry point for XRP. Uh, sir B- BSC, uh, daan mo na ako ano ha? Daan mo na ako na YouTube. Uh, good evening sa mga nanonood sa atin through YouTube. Um, Jerome Gamboa, kamusta? Pwing gabi, Vincent Pascual. Good evening, sir. Heard about XM promo. Wanted to get in. Is it uh, the same po as call? Ang XM is ano? XM is uh, for Forex. Right? Uh, best application for XM right now is yung ano natin. Si Izanagi. Right? Izanagi is our um, bot trading. Right? Ayan na, nag-close na ng mga positions and this is what I told you uh, once the once the positions are going to be closed it's going to go up 169% already amazing. Let me just open my uh, is account. Ayan. Um Hopefully may isanagi na kayo ha. Uh isanagi account, MetaTrader. Uh manage accounts isanagi. Woohoo! $522 already on my isanagi account. And I'm earning passively, right? Dito sa account na ito. Uh, MyFX book. Let me open MyFX book. Or my, no, not that one. MyFX book. Uh, Louis Bazaar. Let me just sign in. Sign in with Google. There we go. Portfolio is an agi. Nakita niyo po yan. 528 po yung balance. 522 on my end. 3.81% already on the gains dito. This started at August 22. So less than one month, we already gained around 4%. That's amazing. Right? In a month. Parang scam. Pakinggan. <laughs> this is bot trading for you guys. That's, this is the reason why I share to you this information. Kasi sayang naman po. Right? There, I always diversify in my investments, real estate, etc. Uh, stock market, international market, and then Forex. This is a way to diversify into Forex, dip your toes into that million, uh, trillions of uh, dollars tri- uh, mo- of money moving every day. Right? Get a piece of your pie. Right? Diversify. You can diversify into Forex. Na hindi nyo kailangan bantayan. Hindi kailangan no speed. Let the bot trade for you. Is an agi has been doing well. Right and speaking of Izanagi, this uh, si Izanagi ginagamit niya na trader is XM, right? So in XM, meron silang promo ngayon which is double your investment. Meaning 100 do- if you put in $100, dadagdagan ni XM yung buying power mo ng $100. So now you have $200 available for for your buying power. If you up, up to $500 yan, meaning if you put in $500 which I strongly recommend, so you, you can then take advantage of the Double your investment. XM is gonna give you five hundred dollars also for ba- uh, for trading. Right? That five hundred dollars cannot be withdrawn. Hindi nyo po pwedeng ibulsayan. That's twenty five thousand pesos. Hindi nyo pwedeng ibulsayan. Pag ang pwedeng yung gawin jan is um ga- pwedeng yung gamitin as trading uh buying power. That's twenty five thousand buying power for free. Whatever that gains goes to your pocket. So let it grow. Sayang naman po. So yeah, XM. The promotion of XM is very good. That's a good time for you to start Izanagi. Sa mga nahirapan magsimula kay Izana, uh, about for Izanagi before because malit lang pera, this is your way to get into Azana, Izanagi. Better, right? Better way for you to get into Izanagi. Um, Izanagi is for free. Itong bot na ito, right? So, if you want a free bot, that's okay. uh, Izanagi is for you. If ever gusto nyo na subok na na bot and sikat, kilala. Right. Valkyrie is the one for you. Uh, let me just open my Valkyrie na portfolio. How is his performance today? Oh, very good performance. 8.58% growth na tayo. Uh, this is um, less than 2 months also. Ano July, August, September. Alright. Almost 2, almost 3, uh, July, August, September. Yeah. Almost 2 months already and it's already up 9 per- 8.58% to be exact. Valkyrie, uh, kung gusto niyo mas low risk na maganda ang takbo this one right here uh, Valkyrie's trade is awesome alright uh, 75% win rate sa mga trades niya on the long positions shorts niya is 68% almost 70% that's very good 
um, trade numbers for you guys. This is the reason why I love Valkyrie. Uh, majority sa savings cost na kay Valkyrie because of this one right here. Um, profitability niya, magitan niyo naman yan. This is a public account. This is a verified track record by uh, my FX book, right? So, um, we created, I created a public account. Linagyan ko si Izan, gumawa ko ni Izanagi and Valkyrie na tig for $500. So, that you can see it. It's already up $42, uh, $42 for this one. Alright. $500 lang linagay ko dyan. What if you put in half a million? That would have been very big. But mind you guys, um, previous performance does not reflect I mean does not really guarantee future performance this can happen to you in one day from 8.84% bumagsak yan ng 0.99 started from scratch so almost one month na sayang niya but the recovery trades were awesome now already up 9% already for Valkyrie so no sweat <laughs> this was the time na ano nga ba nangyari dito ayun yung Afghanistan nangyari for the US etc so ang gulo na nangyari dito so nag drop ng market we got hit by that look at the recovery trade right there so, sobrang ganda ng, uh, ng Valkyrie also. But Val Valkyrie is more pre ma ma premium po yan kasi hindi naman sa amin yan. Izanagi is for free. This account has been running from January 18. 9 months, 169%. Malaki yan. Drawdown nito, 42%. Kung kaya nyo yan, if ever, pag lagay kayo ng 100,000, pag sinwerte kayo, matamaan kayo ng drawdown, that's uh, your, your account just dip down lost 42,000 pesos right but this is high risk kasi alright so drawdown a lot so mas maganda kasi sa, ngayon sa Izanagi is you can use the you can use the double your investment for your drawdown right so pwede nyo na taasan ng drawdown nyo kasi yung, draw, yung $500 na extra ninyo is gonna absorb that drawdown for you for it to recover massive gains today from 163% when it closed the position 169% already very good um ganda pa rin ng longs and trade uh, mga trades natin 702 shorts short short trade 66 percent win rate 67 percent win rate on the longs that's amazing numbers right there for trading and everything is passive already it's the bot trading for you wala na akong ginagawa dito si bot na nagte-trade para sa akin meron din naman tayo um ea naman uh, yung for uh what do you call this? Um, yung trend follower natin, gusto nyo matuto mag-trade. Doon kayo sa trend follower. Anyways, that's for XM. Uh, Jelario, Sir Lloyd, still struggling to get MT4 account in XM. I am actually in the Middle East, sir. Di kaya merong issue sa current location ko. Can you check out this kay Jelario, Jaya? Uh, maybe we can forward this to XM. Uh, Jelario, ito comment niya. Um, for those na may mga question sa ano, dito, dito na lang, wag na lang dito sa live. So may mga question for about um, about for uh, about bot. Thank you so much, Maximus Senyagan, for the 75 stars and lumabas yung zombie because of the stars. Um, dito niyo ako message. Right, it's a bot trading page page natin. Lagay ko sa comments. Right, please follow this page. And jan po yung update lagi. Right, jan tayo mag-usap about bot. Right. Um, Good, um, Ian Cesar Villar, well, good, good evening, Sir Lloyd. Is it okay for long term? Ang Seb, medyo mas okay siya kaysa competitor niya si Pal. And the MRE 1610 per share, thank you. Right. Okay naman si Reit. Si Seb, okay naman si Seb. Napaka mura, mura ngayon ni Cebu Pacific. Maganda siya long term, if ever lang talaga. If ever alam lang natin na mawawala si pandemic. Uh, we're gonna be well in the next coming months. Seb is gonna be a very good enough. It's gonna be a very good uh, investment. Right. Don Guelas, thank you so much for the 75 stars, man. Um, yun, help me, bro, please. Sabi ni Spin Gaming. Alright, what, what's up, man? Ian, Sir Lloyd, uh, siguro best stock siguro para sa aming OFW reeats. What do you think? Thank you. That's a good question. Ma, uh, the best stock ba para sa OFW is REITs? Actually, depende. Right? I will strongly recommend REIT para po sa mga sa pera ninyo na importante sa inyo. Let's say for example, iniipon mo tong pera na ito. Emily Gutiano, thank you for the stars. 100 stars. Amazing. Thank you. May pang may pang uh, pambili na ng toy si Lodito. Right? Bigyan natin yan sa mga nangangailangan. <laughs> right. Um, thank you so much for sending stars. Anyways, uh, my my point is 
kung may pera kayo dyan na savings na gusto nyong ilagay sa investment na tumutubo, kahit hindi ka anong kalakihan pero low risk, REIT is best for you guys. Ganito po ang gawin ninyo, put some in REIT and then diversify into, kung gusto nyong umaman in the stock market, you have to risk some also. Put some in high risk, high reward na mga investments. Uh, may mga stocks upon trading. Pero kung hindi nyo kaya i-trade, when you pilitin, why not post, uh, why not create a, why, why not create um, an Izanagi account, di ba? Um, so, meron kayong mga, meron ka majority of your money since importante pa yan ngayon kasi iniipon nyo pa yan, gusto nyo maging millionaire using that, lagay nyo lang muna sa mas safe uh, na mga investments. So, it is one of them. Um, Pag-ibig MP2 is one of them pero I, fi- I am favoring reit more compared to MP2 pero MP2 is okay pa rin mas maganda rin maganda rin naman mag-diversify so you can half half put some in MP2 put some in REITs and then a little portion of your funds gamitin nyo yun i-risk if ever you have extra let's say for example may na-receive kayo ng bonus etc yeah uh, gamitin nyo po yan uh, lagay nyo po sa mga high risk high reward na investments it's an agi or Valkyrie for you guys. I will recommend that for you. Right. Um, moving forward, Mike Tejero, sir, good evening. Pwede pa reviews dito. We covered dito already. Reba, um, Bernalea, uh, M8, sir, Lloyd, good po ba? It IPO. Yes, it's a good, um, it's a good re-eat, right? I can't say if ever lilipad yan on trading day or not. It's not what we are gonna go in for. If ever gusto nyo pumasok sa re-eat, M8 because maganda siya, then if it drops on the day, uh, nakabili kayo ng IPO, that's on the day, mag-drop siya, you buy more. You are gonna be happy because you, are, you can get more of M. Ano lang, lamok na to. Alala ko tuloy si Digong. Si President Digong. Ano yung lamok? <laughs> okay, inis. Alright, anyways. Yeah. Nerf16, good evening, Sir Lloyd. By end of September, Pumi mag-invest sa Izanagi before matapos na uh, promo ng XM. Yeah, take advantage of, uh, of, the, uh, of the promotion. Raf, Refa Sola, T. Doremi, or Doremi, Lodi, PSEI, Why Red when in net foreign buying? Sing it lang sa SMC and Meg. Um, yeah, that's the, that's the market for you. Um, konti lang kasi ang investors ngayon. Net foreign buying tayo, yes, or are for investors buying, but karamihan sa market talaga are Jupiters, right? Mga Jupiters. So, nag-take profits and the 3 billion was not really enough to sustain the market. That's to be understood because the market is at top levels already. Topic Trader, ganang gabi. Uh, tech is already way up there. Nakalipad na yan. Ilang araw ko na sinabi na buy na si Tech. Right? The, today is already late for Tech. Uh, let it pull back lang muna. Si DMC naman, uh, DMC rin, topish. Uh, stay away from it for now. Right. And then Ali, did we cover Ali already or not yet? Or not yet. Alright. Kung mag-breakout si Ali man, that's gonna be very good. If ever mapulot nyo sa support si Ali, actually pwede nyo bodegahin to si Ali. Pwede bodegahin yan. Let's go back to uh, to Facebook kung saan maraming nanonood sa atin sa Facebook. Thank you so much for staying. 8.45 po. Time check natin. RCI, tapos na tayo RCI. Thoughts on Emory 8. Sino ba yung last na nabasa ko? SRP, ito. Si Chard, hindi ko ba ito nababasa. Chard Fernandez, BSC, sir. Silip din. Uh, pasilip si... BSC. BSC, mukhang... Mukhang tapos na yung short trend niya. La, um, no signals right now to buy BSC. Abangan lang muna natin. The signals were here, oh. Uh, during this one right here. So, BSC... Kind of too late already to get in. I will stay away from it for now. Not my buy. Uh, Vet po. This is from Davidson De Leon. Vet is Vermilion Energy Incorporated. New York Stock Exchange. Ooh. Massive climb for Vet today. It is sitting at resistance. I think magba breakout ito. Right? Baka mag breakout to. Uh, breakout for today good volume on that rally right there towards the resistance so it has a strong case for breaking out baka mag breakout that's your entry point XRP tapos na tayo uh, Ada from Francis Inoue uh, tapos na tayo Helen Grace PH take profits Globe and AP yes right, take profits on Globe uh, if ever mag pula si Globe pag pula yan that's gonna be a sell signal congratulations and AP then ito sa mga, so we call this a buy before sa si AP 
Sobrang ganda na ng levels niya. I would say take profits on some of your positions. Um, on the remaining one, use your MA20. Pag nag-break na MA20, you sell all for AP. Uh, thank you, Sir Lloyd, for the advice and insights, Jeller. You're welcome, Je. Uh, Vince Ariola, good evening, Sir Lloyd. Pwede ba mag-check si Meg P. Core LR? Let's check out Mega World. We covered Mega World already, di ba? Medyo nakalipad na pullback. Actually, pwede pa to. Bodegahin nyo pa si Meg. Uh, ma- mababa pa yan. Uh, medyo late na. Uh, we called about, we talked about Meg noon pa. O, ayan, medyo nakalipad na siya. Si P. Core naman, let it break out lang before you wanna get in for P. Core. Uh, LR. Ito, nakalipad na rin to si LR. LRW um, bearish yung pinakita niya dito mga pre Chong. right so yeah, this is what I'm talking about I, I love RSI divergences it will tell you if it's bullish or if it tells you bearish na siya we saw this bearish signal right here and we said so bababa na siya and 3 red bars na tayo so hopefully mag sustain yung MA20 Kung mag-sustain mo ng MA20, that is gonna be your buy point. That is gonna be your uh, buy signal for LR. Marilu Rubio, F. Jen, sir. Nag-avail po ako, sir, ng tender offer niya. Kailan po magandang mag-buy back sa kanya, sir. Uh, F. Jen. Sustain natin si F. Jen. Actually, kung tender offer, wala na ito eh. Magko-constant na lang to dito. Um, about 10 hours ago wanna open this up first actually pag tender offer usually hindi na, hindi, mahirapan na kayo mag buy back dyan. that's already it for FGen uh, Chart Fernandez pasilip sir ng PHA PHA right, it's PHA Medyo takilid yung signals niya. Um, actually, bodegaan nyo na to. If ever it goes back to support, 0.90, that's gonna be your best entry point, right? So, buy some right now kasi nag-green na naman siya. And if it, go further, if it goes further down, 0.90 is gonna be the best entry point. Buy some more and then cut loss below that lang. And that's for PHA. JV Chicano. Kamukha niyo po si JC Santos. Sino po si JC Santos? Hindi ko kilala. Oh ha? Pogi ko? <laughs> si screenshot ko yan para may resibo pag mamalaki ko. <laughs> Alright, thanks man. Thanks, thanks so much. Right. Katawaan lang. Binobola niyo ako eh. Wala akong perang pambigay. <laughs> Ang pwede ko na ibigay sa inyo, mga buy signal. Pero rin naman yan eh, di ba? <laughs> Raymond Marquez, thank you sir, you're welcome. Alibaba, sir, let's check out Baba. Buy na to si Baba. Right, uh, budigayan nyo na to si Baba. That's already a buy for me. Si Alibaba, my gabi, sir Lloyd, Amping Pirmi, God bless, thank you man. Uh, that's from Brian. East West, EW. Alright, East West, mukhang magda-drop pa Nag-drop kanina, 2 million at foreign selling. Nag-sustained. Binilirin naman kaagad. So, best support is 8.94. If you can get in there, that's gonna be the best entry point for now. I don't know what what's up with the sell-off earlier. I'm not really sure what happened. So, medyo na but the support got respected. 8.94. That's the previous, that's where previous bounce happened. So, so far so good. I would say... Okay, buy it there as long as support holds. Cut loss lang below that. That's a very nice price right there. Meron pa pala ang pandemic levels. But yeah, that's already a massive support right there. Uh, if you want to trade, then that's good right there. You support me. That's from Gboy Tads, CHP and Vita, sir. Let's check out CHP. 851. Uh, CHP MA20 bounce. I would say yes, that is going to be short term trade for you guys. Uh, I'm not, I won't, I'm not a fan of long term trade. Oh, ganda pala na second quarter earnings. Niya. Yeah, that's a buy right there. Right, CHP, that's a buy. Uh, Vita. Cut loss lang below MA20 or the major support for CHP. Vita naman. Best support for Vita is right here. That's the best entry point for now. 
Um, kano ba earnings ni Vita second quarter? Doing well. Alright, doing well. We are at massive supports. This support right here is the best entry point, point 0.76. If ever hindi kayo makapasok dyan, actually, budigayan yun yun. If ever bumaba, then just buy you more. Uh, if you really want to trade Vita. It's doing well for this year, so that's good. Pingwa, ping hello, Sir Lloyd. Sino po maganda pasukin for tomorrow? Meg or PNB po ba? Um, PNB is much nearer sa support. Actually, Pag nag-green to bukas, maganda i-trade si PNB. Pag nag-green, right? So, let it go green lang first before you wanna get in uh, for PNB. Si Meg kasi medyo mataas na si Meg. Eh. So, mas maganda si PNB talaga i-trade kasi nasa, it's sitting at the support itself. SMC po for Mabel San Jose. Kasi kay Meg ngayon, bodega na lang pwede. For, for trade talaga na mabilisan, mas maganda yun si, ano, si PNB. SMC, topish already. Uh, I cannot recommend that anymore. Uh, pull back lang muna and bounce before you want to get in SMC. Dami pa. Paul Armentera, MBT, and M MPI po. Let's check out MBT. Last five lang tayo. Um, that's all the time we have for today. Ano maganda e-commerce stocks sa US market, sir? Ano magandang e-commerce stocks sa US market? Not really sure. I haven't made thought. Uh, I haven't. Okay, yeah, I haven't studied about that. Talaga. Um, e-commerce. I've been. Uh, I've been recommending uh, Visa, Mastercard before. I would say. I would say they're still very good. Um, so those two. MBT. Ganda na support ni MBT dito eh. Sino? Um, actually, abangan lang nuna natin. It's either support or breakout for MBT. It's sitting between both. So, abangan lang natin. Joel Antolin, Monde. Medyo nakalipad na si Monde. Stay away from it. CHP Vita. We covered that already. Um, LTG from Helen Grace. Ito si LTG. Nag, nag, nagpapakita na ito ng buy signals eh. So LTG, right? It's red right now. Baka mag green, right? Uh, if this goes green, this has been showing us good buy signals already. Yung ano nito, si LTG, right? So that tells us technically yung buying is already starting to make, uh, make waves, right? Next green is gonna be your buy and then cut loss. Um, sino yung nagtanong kanina sa ano mas magandang trade uh, PNB ba or si Meg I would say this is a better trade right here mas clear yung signals I love this more sobra lapit nyo na sa support pag nag green to then abangin nyo lang mag green to and then that's where you start buying and cut loss lang below just in case we're wrong right I love this because low risk yung position niya and ganda ng mga signals for position trades Eddie Ed good evening sir late ako okay lang Eddie Ed you can always replay man uh, John Carl Bula, Bulawon Bulawon, sorry Good evening sir, saan maganda mag trade as a beginner? Saan mas maganda mag trade as a beginner? International market po Go for Nasdaq oh, Nasdaq 100 uh, Mas maganda mag trade doon Huwag sa Philippine Stock Exchange Actually, yun yung mentality ng mga tao eh. Mas maganda yung trade sa PSC Kasi taga dito, dito ako sa Pilipinas um, Patriotically speaking You're gonna be helping our stock exchange but practically <laughs> practically speaking mahirap ito yung Philippine Stock Exchange to be honest very low liquidity um, napakalit ng pera na pumapasok so international market try stock exchange sa New York Stock Exchange or international market right? uh, pwede kang mag go markets pwede kang mag eToro if you wanna create an eToro account andyan sa video description Forex right? if you wanna trade mismo sa so Forex mas madali kasi may bot trading tayo Jelario Sir Lloyd struggling to get an MT4 and um, ipapacheck na yan natin mamaya pre. Alright, ang magandang e-commerce stock market, you are si good evening Sir Lloyd. This is from Emily uh, Goltiano. I need to answer this. Anong insights mo kayo dito for short term? Um, we mentioned this before. Dito is already, I should be dropping already. Uh, Nag-resistance na dyan. Uh, for short term, I would say baka mag-support na naman tayo. So, bangan lang muna natin. Right, tapos na yung maligang ayaw, araw ni dito. For now, short term, huwag muna. URC, I'm jumping here and there. Last uh, last three na lang tayo. URC broke ME20, so baka bumagsak na si URC. Uh, Irene, Suzuki, and um, sir, tataas pa kayo si AC. We don't know. What we do 
what we usually do is just react, right? If it goes up, then good. You react. Hindi yung sabi natin nakakapasok kayo sa baba, hindi pa natin ibibenta kasi hinuhulaan natin yung market na aakit pa. You don't do that, right? Um, it showed us a big sell signal right here today that you should be selling already if ever you have in that uh, you were in that you're in that position already that is for hindi kayo pinapagalitan I'm just giving you the right mentality when it comes to trading uh, that's for Irene Suzuki um, Mitzi Gonzalez good evening sir right buy na po ba si Golden Bar- Gold Barrick let's check out um, Pro Charts Gold Park. Mm, is it buy already? Yeah, I would say yes. Ganda na support. Just make sure you know you were to cut loss. Ha? May support tayo dito. Short term is right here. I would say that's a good buy right there. Right? Um, ganda na yung pinapakita niya. It showed us low, uh, higher lows already. Medyo bumaba. But it's already a buy for me. For Gold Park. Good find right here for Mitzi Gonzalez. Uh, Loner FOMO, you're welcome. Sir Lloyd, any thoughts to po kay MM and Mac? Ah, uh, to last ano natin. MM. Si MM, we already covered MM. Na, sanabi ko sa inyo, buy na to si MM eh, di ba? Ngayon, lumilipad na. Somehow, is showing a resistance right here. Uh, it's already playing, going red inside the Bollinger Band. So, momentum's not there anymore. It's not a buy for me, for MM. For MM. Dips lang muna, let it dip lang muna before you wanna get in. Uh, Mac naman, si Mac Croatia. I'd say that's still a buy for me. Uh, si Mac Croatia overall, right? That's still a buy. Right, Eddie Ed, tapos na tayo kay Baba. Paul Hermentera, thanks for waiting lang po ng XM for Izanami. Alright, so, yeah. Sally, we have reached the end of our episode this evening. Hopefully, Thank you so much for uh, for staying, right? Uh, reminders lang, XM po has this promotion na sobrang ganda. It's double your investment. If you put in $500, they're gonna add $500 to your buying power. That's 25,000 buying power for you guys. Hopefully, you take advantage of it. Namitin yung po kay Izanagi. Izanagi has been doing well for me. We've tested it for quite a while already, even back testing it. That's how you know if a bot is good, ha? If I, ma, uso kasi si bot ngayon. If ever may, may, mag, uh, may mag-offer sa inyo ng bot, make sure na meron silang backtest data. Oh, we showed you the backtest data of Valkyrie, also Izanagi, and just sa video description. Backtesting means it's testing the current program, yung current parameters ng programs for the buy and sell and cut loss and etc. It's trading system basically. Backtesting it 13 years before. So th- from 13 years before to now, even going through the pandemic, through the previous na mga recession, sa mga trouble sa mundo, is it, has it been doing well with the market data? It, if ever it did good on the backtesting, that's how you know that that bot is good. We did that for ourselves, for Izanagi, for uh, for uh, for the trend follower, tsaka si Valkyrie. And that's the reason why I'm confident to share it to you guys. So, gamitin nyo po yung promo ni XM for Izanagi. Izanagi is for free. Uh, if ever yung funds nyo naman available dyan is medyo sacred at dear, dear pa sa inyo, put it in Valkyrie instead. Right? Mas lesser kasi yung risk ni Valkyrie. Nakita nyo, uh, halos parehas yung uh, income. Uh, but lesser risk yung kay Valkyrie but Valkyrie may bayad po yun so you have to consider that also that's it for me this evening I'll see you again tomorrow thank you so much for staying and as always let's get rich together bye everyone and thank you for the compliments kanina <laughs> alright bye bye